show you how to make one of my favorite Turkish dishes, braised leeks. In this video, I'll show you how to clean and cut the leeks, and you'll learn a delicious make-ahead dish perfect for the holiday table or a weeknight meal. So, let's get cooking. So for this recipe, you're going to need three leeks, and the part of the leek that we're going to use is just the white and the light green part. So when you're picking out your leeks, try to find ones that have a larger white part. They can really vary. Some of them have a really short white part and light green part. Other ones have a lot longer one. These are kind of somewhere in the middle, so they're a good option. And because we're only using that bottom part, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the top part of all three of the leeks. And I'll use that top part for something else. I actually usually freeze it for stock. And then on to the white and light green part, I'm going to cut each one of them in half lengthwise, but not going all the way down to the root. I'm going to leave the root intact because it makes them easier to cut later. And leeks tend to have a lot of dirt hiding in the layers. That's what I'm showing you here. Um, these aren't super dirty, but there is a little bit of dirt there. And a really great way to clean leeks is to actually put them in a long container or a tall container full of water and just kind of let them sit, hang out for five or 10 minutes and all that dirt that's hidden in those layers of leeks will just kind of fall to the bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put those aside and get started on my other vegetables. So the other thing we need, one of the other things we need for this recipe is an onion. I have a brown one here, a white one would do fine too. And I'm just gonna cut it in half moons. To peel it, I'm gonna take off the top, cut it in half, and then just peel it. Onions are a lot easier to peel when they're cut in half. And once I have both of the halves peeled, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut across into thin slices, and this is creating what I call half moons. You can kind of see the shape there. And I go all the way down to the root, and I get rid of the root there. We won't use the root. Once all the onions are done, we're gonna get onto our carrot. And again, with the carrot, I'm gonna cut it in half lengthwise, leaving the top intact makes it a little bit easier to cut. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut into chunks. I'm cutting at an angle here on the bias. You don't have to, you can cut straight to whatever works for you. But you want chunks, you don't want anything too small because the carrots are gonna cook for a while. You don't want them to turn to complete mush. Now that my leeks have been soaking for a little bit, I'm gonna check and see if they're clean. They're pretty clean. There's not a whole lot of dirt in there. If they were really dirty, I would go ahead and rinse them under running water. But because these are pretty clean, I'm just checking them here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just cut them. So for the leeks, they're already cut in half lengthwise. I'm just gonna cut them crosswise now. Keeping the tip of my knife on the cutting board and cutting through them once again. Trying to keep my fingertips out of the way, kind of bent under, and I'm gonna go all the way down to the root and discard that root. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other two leeks as well. And once I have all my leeks done, I'm gonna start cooking. So here I have my pan and my olive oil, and you can get the amount of olive oil in the recipe below. You wanna heat your olive oil over about a medium heat. You're not really looking for any color on any of the ingredients that you're putting in here. So just a nice medium heat is fine. And once that oil has heated up, you can go ahead and put in your onions and your carrots, and you're gonna cook these until they're starting to get soft, about five minutes or so. Stir them around, break them up with the spoon a bit, so they all hit the heat evenly there in the pan. Like I said, if it's sizzling a lot, turn it down a bit. You don't really want any color on these. And I always like to add salt all the way through my cooking. So here I'm adding about a half a teaspoon of salt. That's adding a layer of flavor and it's also gonna help the vegetables break down faster as well. So I'm stirring it around to get everything evenly distributed in the pan, kind of in one layer. And once they've been cooking for about five minutes or so, I'm going to give them another stir. You can see they don't really have any color on them. They're just starting to get soft. It's time to add my sliced leeks. In they go. All three leeks, white and light green parts. 
I'm going to stir those to evenly distribute them around the pan. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. Again, to help those leeks break down. Adding another layer of flavor there. And once those leeks have been cooking for about five minutes or so, starting to get soft, I'm going to go ahead and add the water and a little bit of rice. It's two or three tablespoons of a white short grain rice. A little bit of sugar that is not for sweetness as much as it is for balance. And then the juice of half a lemon as well. I'll add more lemon at the end, but just a little bit here at the beginning as well. And you're going to stir all that around to incorporate it. And you're going to bring it to a boil before adding the lid. Now that it's boiling, I'm going to give it one more stir. Go ahead and stick a lid on it. And after 20 minutes or so, uh, simmering, covered, this is what you'll have. You'll want to definitely taste it. You might want to add more salt. I know I'll need lemon. Lemon's always good. I add some lemon at the beginning and at the end because that lemon can sometimes prevent the rice from cooking fully. So I put a little bit in at the beginning for flavor, but I adjust it at the end as well. And then this is a dish that it's normally eaten cold or at room temperature, so I'm not gonna eat it now. And it's actually it tastes better the next day anyways. So I'm just taking it off the heat and I'm putting it in my Tupperware container that I'm going to put in the fridge. And I just go straight from the stove to the container. I'll let it cool a bit in the container and then I'll go ahead and refrigerate it. And you wanna make sure you get all the juices in there, all the olive oil, all the leek juice, all the lemon juice, lots of flavor in there. You can see that I'm just putting it in hot. And I'll just let it cool in the container there and refrigerate it. 